Hello, grade 5 students. Today's lesson is going to be about the urinary system. Okay, so as we usually do whenever we start a new system, we have to get to know its function and its organs. Okay, so the function of the urinary system is that it filters our blood from unwanted waste and then it removes these waste from your body in the form of a yellow liquid called urine. So you can't uh, say that the urinary system allows us to make urine. We have to understand why do we make urine. We make urine because the most important thing is that our blood is being filtered. That means it's being cleaned up from all the dangerous uh, chemicals and all the unwanted materials that are found in your blood. They all get removed and then they will change into a yellow liquid called urine which is thrown outside of your body. All of this is done by your urinary system. Okay, so in this figure you can see uh, we have unfiltered blood. That means the blood that's full of waste and toxic material. That means it's not clean. Unfiltered blood enters your kidneys. You can see the black arrows. That's the unfiltered blood. And then the kidneys, they have tiny microscopic filters inside of them. They're called nephrons. There's millions of these microscopic filters doing all the work inside of the kidneys, removing all the toxic material. We're going to talk about these materials later on, where they come from and why your body makes them. But for now, you just have to know that the kidney, it's full of tiny microscopic filters called nephrons. It's going to remove all this unwanted material from your blood and so the filtered blood will then leave your body okay the filtered blood will go around your body and start circulating and doing the work that it has to do now all the waste that's trapped in your kidneys all the waste it's going to stay in your kidneys it's going to form a yellow uh, waste a yellow liquid waste called urine so the urine remains in your kidneys and the filtered blood is going to go back and circulate around your body. So we're repeating again, what is filtration of the blood? Filtration is a very important word when we're talking about the urinary system. Uh, we have unfiltered blood that's full of waste. It enters in your kidneys. That happens first of all. And then the kidneys with the tiny nephrons inside of them, they're going to remove all this unwanted waste from your blood. Now the filtered clean blood is ready to leave the kidneys and to go out and circulate in your body once again. And all the waste that are collected in the kidneys are going to form urine. Okay, so we're done with the function of the urinary system. Now we're going to we're going to start discussing the organs. Okay, as you already know, the main organs of your urinary system are the kidneys. Okay, uh, they are the main organs, and of course you have two of them. Many students were asking me, can we live with one kidney? Can we survive? Yes, we can. We'll talk about that later on. And it's about the size of your fist. The fist is like when you close your hand. That's your fist. Your heart is also the same size as your fist, okay? And the kidneys are found in the middle of your back, okay? To the right and left side of your backbone. And as you already know, they are the parts that filter the blood. We said they're full of tiny microscopic nephrons that filter your blood uh, so that uh, you can survive without uh, your blood being filtered, of course, uh, the body wouldn't be able to survive because it's going to be full of toxic material. Now, the ureters are also parts of the urinary system. You also have two of them, one for each kidney. So you have a right ureter and a left ureter for each kidney. They are thin tubes. And once urine is made in your kidneys, of course, it can't stay in the kidneys. It needs to be collected in the bladder. So in order for the urine to move from the kidneys to the bladder, they have to uh, move down. Uh, urine has to move down 
the ureters, okay? So the ureters are just thin tubes that carry urine or move urine down from the kidneys into the urinary bladder. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder, it's a muscular bag. Muscular means that it's made out of muscle tissue. And so it can stretch like a balloon in order to hold more urine in it. And when you're ready to release, uh, when you're ready to release the urine outside of your body, it will uh, contract. That means it will like squeeze itself in order to help you release the urine outside of your body. So the main function of the bladder is that it stores urine. Okay, it stores urine for some time until it's about three-fourths full, so that uh, you can release it outside of your body when you're ready. So this is a picture of the urinary bladder. You can see how urine enters it through the ureters. Whenever the kidneys uh, produce urine, they will send it via the ureters and it will be collected into your uh, urinary bladder. Okay, and then when the urinary bladder is almost full, uh, at the end of the bladder, on the bottom, you can see you have a tiny tube called the urethra. Okay. So what do you think the urethra does? The urethra is the final part of your urinary system. It's at the end of the system. It's a small tube just at the end of your bladder. And when your bladder is almost full, your bladder will contract and urine will be released outside of your body through the urethra.